So in this video, I'm going to install SDES operating system in a desktop computer. So SDES is based on Arch Linux. This is the website. I'll click on downloads. And here I can download the ISO file and I can also download a DMG file if I want to install it in a Mac computer. So I already downloaded the ISO file and I created a bootable USB drive. So I'll boot up the desktop computer with the USB drive. I'll select the first option. So this is the installer. This is a welcome page. I'm going to leave it as American English. This is the location. I'll click next. This is the keyboard settings and layout. I'll click next. So this is the partition section. I only have one hard drive in this computer. So there are four options here. Install alongside, replace the partition, erase this, manual partitioning. If you want to partition the disk, you can select manual partitioning. I'm going to erase disk. So I get this option. I'll select swap to file. You can also encrypt the system if you would like by just checking this box. I click next. Here I have to create an account. I'm going to type John. I'll type a password. So it says require strong passwords. I'm going to leave that unchecked. Log in automatically without asking for the password. I'm going to uncheck that and use the same password for the administrator account. I'm going to leave that checked. I'll click next. So this is a summary of the settings. I'll click install. Install now. Okay, so it's all done. I'll click done. So I'm going to log in. So this is the desktop. On the top left, there's a toggle switch. And you can switch the different workspaces. So I'm going to run an update. This is the Octopi app. I'll check for updates. So it says yes, yeah, 352 updates. So there's a drop down tab. I'll click install. So here I have to confirm and these are the updates. I'll select yes. And it's updating. So the desktop environment is GNOME. Okay, so update is complete. I'm going to open the terminal app. I'll change the team. I'll click on these three dots. Click on preferences. I'll click on unnamed. Click on colors and the built-in schemes. I'm going to change it to dark. I'll change the font size. So the desktop environment should be known, but I'm going to check it by running this command. So I'll type echo space dollar sign xdg underscore session underscore desktop. So the desktop environment is known. So I'm going to run this command to check if it's VLAN or x11. I'll type type. So it's Whelan. So this is the panel and this is the Swirl web browser. So there's file, edit tools, windows, options. I'll open the settings menu. So you can change the search engine here and you can add a search engine. This is the search box. I'm going to type wiki. So on the right side, this is the search icon. This is the bookmark. This is intelligent tracking prevention. This is plugins. And this is settings. So this is the Gary email client. This is the calendar. This is the music icon app.
This is the file manager and it has the basic folders. This is the Octopi app, and this is the Terminal app. So I'm going to right-click the desktop. I'll click on Display Settings. I'll click on Appearance. I'm going to choose Dark Theme. These are some of the background wallpapers. I'll choose this wallpaper. I'll click on the Show Apps icon, and these are a list of the apps. There's Contacts, Weather Clocks, Maps, VNC Silver Browser. There's a Videos app, Document Scanner. This is a Settings app. This is System Monitor. This is Boxes. So with this app, you can run virtual machines. There's a drop down tab, and here you can install from file. You can select an ISO or GCOW2 file to install a virtual machine. I'm going to select about boxes. So, LibreOffice is installed. This is extensions. And these are some of the system extensions. This is dash to dock. I'll click on settings. So here you can change the position of the dock. Right now it's on the bottom. I'll select left. I'll select top. It's on top. I'll select right. And you can also show in all monitors if you have dual monitors. There's also intelligent auto hide. This is the settings. And here you can change the size of the dock or panel. There's also launchers, behavior, appearance. I'll open utilities. And these are some of the utilities app. I'll go to the next page. This is LibreOffice Rider. This is the time and date. I already ran the update. I can select weather location. It's on the upper right. This is the power icon. This is the volume icon. And this is the network icon. And there's also an icon to check for updates. So I'm going to open the terminal app. I'm going to drag the terminal app to the dock. So I'm going to install each top and I'm going to type this command. I'll type Y for yes. So it's installed. So it's here. I'm going to check the list of programs that I installed in SDesk. So I'm going to run this command. So these are the programs that are installed. So to give a line count of how many programs I installed, I'll run this command. So in all, it's 1,119. I'm going to install VLC player. So I'll type sudo pacman. So installation is complete. 
and it's here. So this is the system monitor. I'm going to open settings. So there's network. I can configure a VPN here. Can also configure a proxy. This is Bluetooth. Displays. This is sound. This is power settings. Multitasking. This is appearance. This is apps and these are a list of the apps. These are the default apps. This is notifications, switch. This is online accounts. This is sharing. Mouse and touchpad settings. This is keyboard settings. This is printers, accessibility, privacy and security, and system. So as you can see here, the operating system is SDesk. This is the kernel version, 6.9.6. .6. This is the total number of packages. This is the shell. So this is the desktop environment. It's GNOME 46.3.1. So in this video, I installed Linux SDesk in a desktop computer. So I want to thank you for watching and I thank you for subscribing.